Meeting everyone and, and thank you uh, for being here. Uh, I want to thank Mohammed and Sally and the NAACP and uh, Pastor. Uh, thank you so much for hosting this and for your church. And to the mayoral candidates, I want to thank you as well for your participation. This is an important process for our city. Uh, I want to thank you for allowing this opportunity. Uh, before I proceed, I just wanted to mention that we were in contact with Mayor Riley from Charleston. We did, I did express on behalf of our city our condolences. Uh, very tragic what happened in Charleston. The city of Charleston has been a friend to our city. Uh, they hosted us at the Mayor's Institute of Design, and uh, our thoughts and our prayers are with them, and we should continue to commit to work together to prevent uh, these atrocities, this gun violence that happens, not just in Charleston, but in many other cities. I have been in the city since I've been 15 years of age. I came here by myself, came here with many dreams and aspirations to get away from the violence that I had in my neighborhood. I, like many of the people in the North End, am uh, not unfamiliar with gun violence. I lost my father uh, when I was nine months, nine months old. He was 19 years of age. Unlike Many, uh, I do know what it is to grow up without a father. Uh, my mother worked as a domestic in several houses in order to put food on the table. And I am not inexperienced at having been homeless, which I've been, I've been hungry. But I've also recognized the value of education and how working several jobs, I was able to put myself through college, starting at Cabo Community College, University of Hartford, and even through law school in order to work my way through. And it is through that education that I was able to basically become self-sufficient and give back to my community. Uh, I worked a couple of blocks away from here at Clark Street School during my first year of my master's program in social work, early intervention program for children birth to three with developmental delays. I've lived in every single corner of this city. So I am very familiar with this community and I've spent close to 40 years working in different community organizations, and more recently as mayor. Education has been a priority, as has been also reducing crime. Recently we had an uptick, but I know that we will continue to work hard to break down the violence once again. I want another four years because the job is not yet done. Although we have significantly increased graduation rates, although we have reduced crime, there's still a lot more to do in our community. But I think that the experience that I've built up over the past five years, 40 years of serving this community can make me be more effective than anyone else in terms of continuing to move this forward. So I want to thank you again, and I look forward to participating in this debate. 